Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial today and this is going to be nice and slow, step by step, really to show you how to use your Saint palettes and makeup brushes. So let's begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my highlight and contour colors. So again, we've got our my brightening, this is white peach. I have my main. This is amber. I have three different contours here. I use this one the most. Oh gosh. And guys, look, these just pop out. You just pull on it. It comes out. This is ash. That is my go-to contour color. And then this is Bella bronzer. And then below, because we have the double decker, this one's my illuminator. This one's rose gold. And this is the setting powder, the vanilla dust. You can tell how much I use these because they're getting low. And there's actually a trick when they get low, you can actually melt the tins and it redistributes the product over. So this truly is a no waste product. All right. So I'm going to try a different technique today. I typically will just stick my finger in and I'll either dot or I'll stripe the product on my face where it needs to go. But I have seen a few different videos now where the artists are actually applying like with their brush in the palette and putting it directly on their face. And so I'm just, I just wanna try that today. Um, let's see, which brush? That's the challenge. They all do something a little bit different. So I really like this one for contouring. Um, so we're gonna do the detail brush right here and I'm gonna use this kind of more flat, dense side of the brush. And we're gonna go straight in and we're gonna do it out of order. I usually start with my highlight. We're gonna start with contour. So I'm gonna dip it in the ash. I'm gonna to have to get on the sides here. It's like, no, there's no more left. I will do a video on how to melt the tins here soon since we're getting to that point. All right, so I think I've managed to dip my product in. And then, we're just applying straight onto my forehead. And then I've kind of pinched it just a little bit to apply contour. Cause again, you're gonna go from like the top of your ear down to about midway. And again, this is just on your cheekbone. You wanna create shadow. If you apply it further down, it's gonna bring your face down. I want lift. I am over 40, so I would like to have everything go up. So we're just gonna apply that kind of straight here. Do you see? And you can like pat it on. Um, I am doing more of a swiping motion here and I'll tend to swipe again, a little bit more on just the perimeter of my face. If for some reason you're like, Ooh, that's kind of wide. First of all, I would wait. I would have your face done first, but you can um, easily remove it. You can use any brush. I'll just grab the 3d brush and I can just kind of swipe. Do you see how I'm just kind of swiping some of it off? This is where the perfecting sponge kind of comes into play here. What you want to do is get this damp. Mine's not currently damp, but you can actually kind of lift. It's cream makeup. It's movable, which is why it's foolproof and it's so easy. All right, let's do the other side so I don't look kind of funky here. But it's already creating like a chiseled cheekbone. Do you see that? I have really big cheeks too, so I like chiseled. Okay. And guys, do you see my son's cute little plant back here? He grew uh, wheatgrass for a science class, and it's just so cute. It's a little plant right there because I kill everything in my house, so I can't grow plants. Okay, so same thing. It's a little bit wider than I would like to right about here, so I'm just going to blend some of that out. Perfect. Okay, so with this, we also want to sculpt our jawline here. So not over on this side, but more under. And we're just gonna apply it. And again, it's creating a natural shadow. If you happen to, let's just say have a double chin, this is fantastic for slimming. And you would put it right here, all down here. And I'm actually just gonna swipe the product down. Again, shadow creating that illusion of thinness. I do this, I have not seen many Saint artists do this, but I like to apply it 
kind of on the edges here, almost like how we do um, contouring our nose. It's just more of a slimming effect. And so I apply the product with the most on the outside and I can kind of just bring it in. It's really hard to talk when I'm over my vocal cords. And then just bring it in here. And you just want to make sure it's blended. You don't want there to be like a streak of dark. You just want it to have color. Again, it's not like brown. It, it's warm tones. And when you see it with the highlight, it's going to look amazing. Excuse me. All right. So now I'm going to take, I'm trying to figure out which brush. <clears throat> I think for this, I'm going to use, and I don't know the name of this one. I cannot remember. It is one that we typically use for eyeshadow. That might be too fluffy. We're going to go for it. I actually want a lighter look today. So I'm going to apply it straight in. This is my amber. This is my main foundation shade. It still is probably a little warm for this time of year with it being winter time. I could probably go a little bit lighter of a shade, which is why I always recommend three highlights. So you have your brightening and kind of two main foundation shades. You can mix them as well. And there's also color correcting that you can do. And so we're just gonna apply this. It's, I'm trying to do a stippling motion, which is kind of more of that back and forth versus like a swipe and drag. But this is just, we're trying something new. And that's what makeup should be fun, guys. It shouldn't be stressful. It shouldn't be a chore. Um, and see, there's too much product right there. I can already tell I just put in a little bit too much. So I'm going to blend it in other locations first. And then kind of lift some of that off. I have not contoured my nose or my lip yet. So we will show you what that looks like with a different brush. But so I haven't done this side. Do you see I still have some redness here? And do you see how it's already kind of smoothed out? And it's just bringing some warmth to my face. Oh, I really like this brush for applying. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this more. Thanks, Elena, for the tip. I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't done a video on my Perfectly Imperfect Facebook page, so. Um, I'm not going to focus on color correcting today. I'll probably do a different video for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But <clears throat> I have a little bit of kind of this blue violet under my eyes. And there are different products that you can use, different colors you can use that will cancel out those colors. That's what I should say. Okay. This is looking really nice, really soft, really natural, which is the look I'm going for today. With this being cream, it's blendable, but it's also buildable. So if you are looking for a more fuller coverage, either change the brush you're using. Um, the buff brush has the most full coverage look. Um, but a little goes a long way. And with this product, if you tend to be a little bit more heavy handed, you might get that kind of cakey look. So I would always start lighter and then you can apply. I tend to always apply a little bit more right here because again, just more like the apples on my cheeks tend to have a little more redness. It's seeing the sun more. I swear I'm using sunscreen. Um, and then I always go over my eyes, almost like um, a primer but I don't like how red my eyes, you have a lot of blood vessels behind your eyelids, right? Like there's just color there. And so I just wanna smooth it out a little bit and have more a more even tone. Okay, and so you can still see the contour. I'm gonna actually go back over it now with the same brush we used, the detail brush. And just to give it a little bit more definition. All right. So now I am going to use in the detail brush this end, and this is for the brightening. This is what you would typically consider your concealer. And I'm gonna use the mirror for this, so it's a little more accurate. Corner of your eye, and then the edge of your eye. Again, lifting, it's creating lift. We are not doing a ton of brightness. 
directly under. I'll swipe just to have a little bit. Can you already see how this eye is brighter? This eye is still a little bit more just dull. So we're gonna go in on this side now. And again, same placement. With lift, we're lifting. If you're finding the product isn't quite full enough, that's where you can go in with your finger and apply. And again, it's gonna give you that more fuller coverage look. Okay, so now the fun part. I'm going to take the Multitasker brush. This is one of my all-time favorite brushes. I use this for my lips. I use this for my contour. I use this for my eyes. It's for everything. So I recommend, I can find it in here. I need to upgrade to the bigger palette size and have it all in here. But, um, oh, that's, I need that too. But it is, oh, where is it? That's what happens, y'all, we have too much, too much. Aha. So again, this just slides. This is the brush cleaner. So I used this last for eyelining my eyes last night. And I'm just going to swipe on this cleaning tile. It's a sponge and it's going to remove whatever product was on here. So that way I can use it for something else. And so I'm gonna go back in with my main contour, which is Ash. And I'm going to line either side of my not, my nose, but I want on the top, not on the side. And so there's a reason when you add contour, that's a little on the side. Again, it's slimming. So if you feel like you have a little bit of a wider nose, this will help create more of that slim and then under your lip. Do you see how it already created a fuller lip? Not using this for lip liner, though you can use this for lip liner. I'm using this just on my bottom lip to create more of that fullness. It's creating a little shadow, which makes my lip look plump. I want to blend that in a little bit more, so I'm going to take this brush, kind of blend that out. Okay, and I can already just see there's just a, a few spots where I just was a little bit more heavy-handed, so we just, we blend. So as light or as full as you like. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the detail brush again, again this fine end with my brightener. This is white peach for me. And we just go up and down the nose, center, center. Again, you want it to be light in the center of your face. And then we're just gonna kind of blend, blend that out a little bit more. Probably with this brush. And so if you are starting out with Saint, Definitely get one brush. I always recommend the 3D brush because it can still do everything. But honestly, I can do everything with this brush. Um, even the blush brush. So again, you've got this side for more dense, this side for more puffy. I tend to use, and I'll show you right now, my bronzer and my blush on this end. However, you can do both on this end. So if you want a lighter bronzer look, you just use the fluffier side, the less dense side. So I'm gonna go in now. And so <clears throat> everything is kind of like, it, it's one place. I have not layered any makeup yet. This is looking funny to me. Cool, all right. And so I need a drink. Lemon water. You can, with your, <clears throat> sorry, I need that away with your lip and cheek, go ahead and have put that on already to where it's not layered. I prefer to layer on my lip and cheek color and that's a personal preference. It's however you wanna do it, which is why I want you guys to play with this makeup. Again, this is fun, this is makeup. 
Um, Hollywood is my absolute favorite color. I'm surprised it's not as low. This one's a gloss. And so I will apply this over a lip. This one is nude and this one is Frenchy. So I use Frenchy for color correcting, but you can use this again, um, cheek, lip, all of these colors. You can also use all these on your eye. So everything has multi-purpose. So you're getting more, like more bang for your buck. So we're gonna do Hollywood. And this one, actually, no, I said I wasn't gonna do that. So I will do that for my lip, but I won't do that for my cheek. We're gonna apply just pat, pat, pat. And I put my blush following my contour, just kind of going up. You can always apply it to the apple of your cheek. It's however you prefer to wear your blush. <clears throat> but I do want to blend and I want to still have a little bit more of that chiseled line there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I have not had enough liquid today. That's why I have to clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. All right. Any 90s fans out there? Another thing you can do is you can have more than one blush color. A lot of times I'll put nude because nude is also a really great almost contouring color. Nude is flattering on everyone. Plum's also another one that's really good. I have not used plum though. Um, but I prefer more of that pinky pop. And this is like a pink shimmery. There's a little bit flecks of gold, kind of that warm corally color to it. I have to use the mirror. I'm still getting used to doing makeup in a phone. This is so new, guys. That's okay. All right, and so I would like to do with the same brush I did contour on, so I'm going to clean it. I'm going to use the Suede Lip Liner. So this is a very neutral, um, has some warm, almost taupey kind of color. So similar to the contour, though not quite as dark. I'm gonna use the mirror. And use this for the lip liner. If you over define, again, it's gonna give you more of that fuller lip. Okay, now I can flip and use this end to actually apply Hollywood straight onto my lip, but I still have some on my finger. I was saving it. I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to apply that with my finger. But I am going to use the other end. I'm going to clean it first because I did use shadow on this as well. Because <clears throat> I really want to show you what it looks like with using brushes today. So we're going to again dab. Okay, so I can see I need to blend a little bit more over here. I'm gonna use that. And so it's a very light coverage. I am wanting a little bit more of a bright, brighter color on my lip. So you can see when you apply with your finger, you're getting a little more product, it's going on heavier. So same thing, when you apply with your finger on your face, you're gonna get a little bit more of a heavier coverage. Okay, I do wanna go in with the gloss. This one I think is called Summer Love. I just love all the names and all the tins have a different design on them. So it's so cute to see like, who came up with all these designs? Okay. Which helps because Hollywood is a matte. And so we have matte, we have semi-gloss and we have gloss. And so this already is bringing in some moisture to my lips. Look how pretty that is. I love it. You can still use gloss on your cheeks. I just don't like the texture of a gloss on my cheek. Again, play with the makeup. See what you like, see what you don't like. Okay, so that's there. Let's do illuminator and bronzer. And so I always start with bronzer. I just have a certain order. I do things and I like to do it that way. But I'm not going to apply with my finger. Do you see? It's habit. I was just going to jump right in there. 
Um, I want to show both sides of this brush. So I'm going to do the dense side on this side and the full side on this side. So you can just see the difference in coverage. So tap, tap, tap. I'm not gonna blend it yet because I kind of just want to have you see where it is. Now I'm gonna use the fluffy side. Tap, tap, tap. Again, you don't need a ton of product. It's harder to see on this brush because it's more dense. Do you already see the difference? This one's lighter, though it's gonna go a little bit more because of the wideness of this brush. This one's gonna be a little bit more precise. And again, you can use different brushes to get different looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my brush, <clears throat> attempt to with how small this thing is. All right, let's pull it out of its tin. Because I wanna be able to blend and not necessarily add any more product. So we're just kind of cleaning. And again, to fully clean your brush, we have a brush cleaner, you just spritz on, it also is antibacterial, so it will clean very well your brushes besides just removing product. Okay, so again, this side, that side, we're just gonna buff that out and it's gonna look like I've been in the sun. Beautiful thing about Colorado is we have a ton of sun here. Um, it's almost always sunny, except for when it snows, and it doesn't rain a ton. Very different from North Carolina where I'm from, and North Carolina has a lot of rain, and in the winter we tend to have more clouds, and so, you want to look like you just went to the beach or someplace tropical, a cruise, add a little Bella Bronzer. Bella Bronzer is typically a universal color that looks fantastic on everyone. There are a few different shades of bronzers, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, depending on your skin tone. But for the most part, Bella works for the majority of women or men, if you want to wear bronzer, no judgment. But do you see how it's just smooth? So again, a little bit more intensity here, a little bit softer, but you look at a color like Bella and you're like, I'm not putting that on my face. It's so dark, but it's beautiful. It just gives you a little bit more warmth and it glow. Oh, speaking of glow, it's time for the rose gold illuminator. This I will apply with my finger. It's not really, you can apply with a brush, but then it, it kind of defeats the purpose of it. And so I am going to dab a little bit on my finger. And it's just, I don't know if you can see, it's just a glow. Do you see it shimmer? It's just beautiful. And so again, where the light hits, where you want to add some brightness. And so nose, keep its bow, like crow's feet, that's not it, that's that. <laughs> and then sometimes you can do your chin. I always do cheek above where the blush was applied. And because this one's a rose gold, it's gonna really blend in with my skin tone. It's for more medium toned skin. If you have fair skin, there is Angel, Honey, oh, Pearl. Pearl's the one. It's super light. I used to have Pearl, but it was too much. It was like, whoo, streak of like glitter. So I like that this one just kind of blends. It looks so beautiful in person. It's a little bit harder for the camera to pick up on it. Um, you can also apply right under your brow, but I usually do shadow here instead of illuminator. I always like to get the tip of my nose. So some women will do just do tip and then bridge and have there be like a little bit of space. So um, we're done with face. So there's a couple things you can do at this point and I'm just gonna talk about them. I might demonstrate one. So with the perfecting sponge, if you have um, just a little bit too heavy hand, a little bit more full coverage than you would prefer, with this damp and wrung out, you can just kind of apply. So if I'm like, oh, that was a little bit too much blush there or bronzer, I don't have brush, blush, ooh, blush on my forehead. You can kind of just go and, and tap and just kind of like roll. This isn't supposed to be, again, very heavy hand. You can also use this to set. So if I wanted to set my under eye, I can dab, which I will do, let's see if I can show you on the side. With the vanilla dust, <clears throat> so you can just, I'm gonna be a little bit heavier hand as so you can see it. So I've got setting powder here, and I just press. Again, mostly where I want makeup to stay. My chin will lose makeup. It's just, 
I touch my face or my phone or what have you. So this is a great place to set. If you want a dewier look, you don't have to do anything else. If you prefer a more matte look, that's where I would recommend using a fluffy brush. I have to pinch it because I don't want to pick up the eyeshadow colors, especially not, I believe this one's Midnight and that one's Emerald City. And I use both of these as eyeliners because I have, I don't know what color eyes they are. Sometimes they're green, they're green gray, they're green blue, who knows what they are. But those colors are fantastic for eyeliner. I don't use black. I typically don't use brown. You can see I've got some browns in here. So you can kind of see more matte finish now, more dewy. Now I'm going to match those because it's going to look kind of weird having two different faces. But see, more shimmer because again, it's a more dewy look. Now it's a little more matte. Okay, and that's your face. So we can still go, I'm gonna keep going. This is gonna be a long video because I really wanted to do a tutorial. And we're going to do just some color, finish my eyes. Um, let's see, there are some shadows. I haven't unpacked them yet from my artist kit. So I'm still using, um, this is I think Tarte. It's worn off, yeah. So this is a Tarte um, palette. This one is actually, So I believe they had two like bronzing colors, a blush, and then these are all eyeshadows. And I really just like this palette. You can still use your favorite makeup. So don't think you have to switch to just one brand. <clears throat> the only thing mascara doesn't sell, sorry, it's not mascara. Saint used to be called mascara. And they changed the name to Saint, S-E-I-N-T, but they don't sell mascara. And so I, I like L'Oreal is kind of my everyday go-to, but I'm always in the market for new mascaras. And so I use these three. Yes, three, and we'll talk about that. And so I am going to go over, um, <clears throat> let's see today. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're done with that. That's what that means. Time for celery juice. Yes, I juice my own celery fresh. This is organic from Whole Foods. And just a little plug, start with lemon water. This will actually um, clear out all the bile in your system that your body has created overnight. So when I first wake up, lemon water. Every other day or so, I drink celery juice. And the reason for this, and it happens in this order, is because this will detoxify every single organ in your body. It's amazing. And so it's not necessarily the best taste. It is acquired. Organic tastes better than regular celery. So do yourself a favor and don't add all those chemicals anyway and go for organic. Um, but this has actually helped to clear up my skin. This has helped me with bowel movements. This has helped me with just energy, all sorts of things, all the vitamins. So cheers. Okay. Yes, you can eat celery, but it's the juicing it that has a lot of benefits too. So, all right. So I typically prefer a light lid and I have very hooded eyelids. The older I get, the more hooded they become. So I will show you a little bit of how I am using to combat that. So I have a different brush that I prefer and I just, I just love this one. I don't even know what it is, where I got it from. Um, and so I'm gonna go in with a very neutral, light color. You can already see on this eye, see how it's already creased? So I really need to get an eyeshadow primer. I want one that will work with cream makeup. First of all, so you have to get the right type of primer. And again, that's a situation that I have because my eyes are so hooded, my eyelids are just blinking. And so I, I will find at the end of the day, a lot of my shadow has lifted on my lid. It's still like crease and you know up here, it will last all day. And so I'm just gonna go in with that color here and just a tiny bit in the corner. I do have a shimmery color. I will usually pop right there. I want to go in just a little bit lighter under my brow bone. And again, this is to create that light lifted kind of look. These are both matte. 
I do like shimmer, um, so I will use some of shimmer. And then I have, and so I'm gonna buy one of the Saint brushes, but until then I'm still using mine. So this is like a smudge brush here, and this is where I kind of do more of the creasing, and it's just for me to really apply and then blend. And you can already see just this beautiful shadow of definition that's created here. So I am purposefully going higher. <clears throat> okay, what is next? Next is, I'm trying to see what look I'm going for today. That's the fun thing about shadows. Um, I think we're gonna go just kind of this, a little more pink to it, but it's not, it's not the right color. It's not as warm as a terracotta. It's on the pinker side of that. And again, just above. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend. This is a very fluffy brush. I could have used the detailed one a little bit better. This is a blending brush, but I'm wanting a soft look. I'm going to my son's basketball game. I don't need to have a ton of makeup. I just want to look put together. And so I'm going to do a little shimmer with my original brush here. This one has some shimmer, kind of just corner. And again, there's so many different eyeshadow techniques. Um, and I love watching other artists. I follow quite um, a number of scene artists on Instagram in particular. Um, and they all just have kind of different techniques. Some just kind of do two colors over the lid. Some go full glam. It's whatever you want to do. Makeup is fun. Makeup is effortless. This is taking a little bit of effort because I'm going slow. I want to show everyone. Honestly, I'm pretty pleased with that. I am going to go in with just a little bit, a little darker <clears throat> right here. Um, and I don't remember the name of this one. Just to have a little bit more definition right there. And then blend. It's all about blending shadow. Okay, I want it just a smidge more on this side. What brushes was I using? I was using this one. <clears throat> Thing with eyes is I do want them to match. Perfect, okay, done with eyes. Oh, eyeliner, let's do that. Um, because of the colors I'm using today, I think I'm gonna do purple. So the problem with purple is that it looks really intense for me because I tend to use Again, this is the multitasking brush. And I tend to damp my brush first, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to just do powder. But I do powder eyeliner. I do not do liquid or pencil. Um, so we're gonna start here. I do need my mirror. Okay. Powder, tap, tap. Did you love the faces you have to like hold? <laughs> I do that with mascara too. So shadow is buildable. It's movable. And again, if it was damp, it would be more intense, more dark. But I just wanted a little bit of purple to make my eyes pop. Um, Okay with that. Oh, I was going to show you. I do the shimmer. Let me see what brush I want to use. Um, I have like a really shimmery one. Corner of my eye. Right there, right there. Okay. And then let me do um, this brush just for some color underneath. Go back to my original palette. Dab, dab, dab. Just right here. Okay, and I just wanna blend right here. And now mascara, so 
I start with a priming mascara, L'Oreal. I'm also starting to use castor oil with a spoolie and applying that every night to see if that will grow my nat my lashes naturally. I don't know if I want to try a lash serum. There's so many in the market, it's hard to know which ones are good and so many are very expensive. So we're starting with something affordable and more natural and I will keep you posted as to the results. Okay, so it looks like I've got snowflakes all over my eyes. This one's a brand new bought, um, I just bought it yesterday, so it's like coming on heavier. That's okay. Go in with my main mascara, Curve Brush. And these are some of those faces I was telling you about. I was like, oh, I gotta hold this look. Again, however you like to apply, you can layer mascara. I don't double coat. I will only undercoat. And Oh, I don't like how that moved. Wait, right here. Okay. Good enough for basketball. And then I like using this telescopic one. It's the super skinny brush for my lower lash line. I'm going for simple and understated. I don't want volume necessarily on my lower lash. Okay. And now that I can see a little bit better. Again, I'm just going to kind of go in with, where'd it go? This brush for under my eye, just to make sure kind of everything is smooth. And then this for my chin. And there you have it. Thank you for getting ready with me. I know that was a long video, but I really wanted one that was intense and full face. So you can kind of see my process and I'll do a different style next time. So thank you so much for watching.